Ambidex. What is that? I'm gonna have to look that up later. Um, well, this oh, is a the reactor. cool room. Okay. This nuclear reactor I could dig this. Supplies electricity for years without any extra input. Huh, thanks for the... How do you know all that? I read it in the manual that's right over there. Where? <laughs> you don't think Zero plans to lock us in this shelter for years and years, do you? What good would that do? Oh my god. Oh, and it's locked green. Well, anyway, guys. It's pointless. I checked it already. Stop being a Debbie Downer, okay, man? Jesus. And it's the new year. So, I think each further down the line, it's certain times automatically, no matter what. It just happened to be the the time they hit New Year's in this one. Year ever. Is she your girlfriend? No. She's my little sister. He does bring her up a lot. She, uh, that's for sure. Fell ill ten years ago, and was admitted to the hospital. I oh she'd man. Be lonely in there, so I always stop by after work. Ah, oh, um, that's every. Good morning and good night. This is so sad. So important to us. It's too intense, now, man. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Happy New Year, Junpei. <laughs> what, what's with you all of a sudden? I've wanted to say that to you for ten years, but I couldn't. You say it now, but I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. At least give her a proper response. Oh You're shit! Your boyfriend, right? No, I am not. She's she's just a childhood friend. Oh really? man, it's being a little dick. Right here, now. I thought you were dating. Carlos. Whoops. I'm sorry if I made things awkward. I just wanted to learn how you guys were connected. The you know, the best way to build teamwork is to know who your partners are. How like a firefighter. Yeah. <sighs> well, well, leave it at that for now. <sighs> That's good. Okay, <laughs> we can't hang around here like this forever. <laughs> Let's find a way out. Poor lovebirds. Chubay just doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't have the guts to ask her out, guys. Leave him alone. Alright, so welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape. Zero Time Dilemma. And uh, after our last episode, shit went kind of crazy, revealing who Sean is and what the hell. So that's meant to be, I guess, attacked by water in some regard. Yeah. Maybe you burst the pipe there or something. Okay, so yeah, we need to figure out either a way to cover those or... What? Oh shit, so that keeps the water from leaving. Okay, it's in here. And I guess we turn this. So I guess we need to turn it on at some point and... Are you fucking kidding me? There's matches on the ground? <sighs> Alright. That was it. Now let's go freaking start this fire, because I think we open this with this. <laughs> All right, can we can we not light that side? How do we start the fire? We actually have the matches, so we need to light something else. I'm guessing. Maybe you find like it's like inconspicuously enough to burn. Doesn't look like there's anything to burn. What the fuck? This needs more power. Oh wow, okay.
Okay, so basically we can't let it drop any lower. Now this is open. A steel mold. Oh, that's for the key. Okay, cool. It's important. Hmm. If we switch the power back over, we could probably get it to the other lock. So let's open that then. Boop. Alright. Now this is open. We got a fire extinguisher. Oh, freezing extinguisher. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, freezing's lickety split. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So now we have an ice cold fire extinguisher and. Uh... Oh, they both have importance. Ah, now it makes sense. Okay, so we switched the power back over. There might be something else we need in the other cabinet. Let's switch that power back then. Bamp. Alrighty. Um, let's go just change this down. Boop. What the fuck? A puzzle? Alright. I guess. Sense. I don't know if that's the answer. Which one can we? We can definitely make this in there, so that might be it. Yeah, we need to be able to make full shapes, and that angle thing definitely wasn't it. Okay, those are correct. Go, bam, 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 bam. It's angled here, so that goes there. That went there. No, it was the blue. I mean, technically, those all fit there. Bam. There you go. So yeah, once you start like figuring out where each thing goes, it kind of falls into place. Bam, 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 and this is the turn. I think that's almost all of them. This one's the switch. Doof. There we go. They all switched accordingly. I think that's it. Boop. Got it. What else is in here? Sink plug. Why do we need a sink plug for? Oh, I know why. Yep. Now, what we want to do is plug up both sinks, but right now, I'm pretty sure we need a block of iron. Yep. Huh! There you go. When it's red, now it's green. So maybe we can lock the door. There we go. Jesus. Finally. Whew. Okay, so we got a key. Oh, cool. So that's a key to the other thing. Alright, so... What's the heat at now? It's zero degrees. It's still cold in here. Let's see if we can rectify that. So if we could light the other side, I guess. With said matches. Yep. There we go. There we go. Now everything's warmed up. All the frost is gone. Yeah, all the frost is gone. So we could turn the water pipes now, too. Okay. Let's uh, do this key then, because I know where this goes at least. Doop. 
Let's do this thing. Come on, guys. What did I just do? Uh, I think I just turned on the reactor. Oh, we're getting ready to turn on the reactor, I guess. Okay. Well, our next thing is... What's the pipe flow? Why is it... Oh, so now we have water. Well, let's turn this one on just because... Bingo! Yep, and now it's flowing out. Hmm. So that flows down here. Going over the wires, but into there. Um, now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Alright. So we've gotten those things. But that's going to cut the power, wouldn't it? To do that? Like I'm almost positive that's what that means. It's going to burn the power out to do this. We'll see what happens. Oh, at the switch, maybe switch power back over and it'll work. Yeah, so let's try this. Because now that it's a current. Yep. Huh! That's clever. So water continue the current for them. Oh crap, these are like legit puzzles. Uh Alright. Uh let's jump into this then. It makes you feel like you're three foot tall. When it's just you, well times can be tough. When there's no one In a room for the haters, ain't got time for jealousy I'm too focused on the music, the money and where I'm headed If I ran on my parade, I'ma get an umbrella <laughs> Fuck all these damn opinions Never really been the one to listen Ain't no one else in the world, so my vision Still I want the distance and stay driven Gotta go for it, do or die I can't slow down, I feel too alive I'ma chase my dreams, fuck a suicide If you walk in my shoes, you would lose your mind Got the blood of a champion in my veins I ain't following nobody, I'm in my own lane Live a day in my life, come and feel my pain I'm balling out like LeBron and Dwayne In overtime, all my life Time to turn it up into overdrive Gotta live your life with an open mind Blood, sweat, tears, got me so alive Pull up with a bad one, then a passer Jerk side with an ass, got a fat one Used to never get money, your host back then Now we get both, but never we get a chance to Wait to focus on the money, turn the vision to it Embrace the struggle and you're gonna get through it Never give up, boy, you gotta keep moving Don't worry about me and what I'm doing If anyone listening got a dream, better go for it If you think about giving up, better hold on I've been on my grind <sighs> Figure out this last fucking chunk here That can't go there. They have like two big fucking. Like this thing goes like that, but it's because it overlaps and makes it a problem. What can we do? I can alternate with that. Can we even put anything else in that spot? No. Maybe if we get rid of the A there. What else could go there? The Q? Oh, fuck. That makes so much more sense. There we go. Now we need to figure out the X goes there. This gotta go here. And this goes there. Holy crap. Whew. That took way longer than it should have. Okay, cool. So we got through that. And now the reactor's open. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh yeah, clear. Hmm. Maybe the door's enough power now. Maybe we can slide it now. And we, uh, so we got that running. 
We pull the lever down, the heater's on, those are switched, the power's on. The door isn't open though. What are we missing? Oh, this is turned on. Oh, great, another map. Let's see what this puzzle's all about then. Alright. Uh, so this is power fluctuation, I guess? How does this work? Uh, what do you do? Okay, so we turn these. Okay. And we can only scroll up and down with these? Okay. Holy god, I didn't know that was gonna work. <laughs> cool, perfectly. Hmm. Alright, so did I just close it again? Oh now it's actually fully operational. Okay. So I think we got the reactor oh fuck, wait, is that messing up with the energy? Uh what's going on? No use. Um. Nope, they're both red. What can we do? Uh, what do we do? Oh, see, they just touch the ditches. All right, cool. Oh, so it captures the reactor. Oh, oh man. Okay. So now power is working, I guess? Okay. What just happened? Oh my god. She seriously touched water as the ice broke and got electrocuted? Fuck. She's just unconscious. Her breathing and pulse are normal. I see. Oh, so she isn't dead. She doesn't count. They were voted to death, though. It, it had to have been the vote. No, we can't be sure all of Q Team was really killed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, y you're right. We need to focus on getting out of here somehow. Um, you seem to be forgetting that the exit's still locked. Well then, all we can do is go into that room. What the hell is this thing? The a oh wow, so it was meant to- the AB game. Akane? What does that even mean? She's laying down outside. Uh, the- the hell is this? No clue. Something's up on the monitor though. Oh, the ally slash betray game. Players, Carlos and J Wait, what? Wait, so it was sped it was meant to be them being the ones who, you know, do this? Cause uh Akane's not even in the, the description. Oh, I guess the players, but Stand before the monitor and vote either a lie or betray. You must vote at the same time. If the timing is off, everyone within the shelter will be executed. Both of you will start with 3 BP, this is the number of will change based on the voting results. If you both choose a lie, you both you both will gain 3 BP. Betray, you lose BP. Oh, but if you bet- Okay, so if Junpei lies, he gains 3, he loses 3 if he betrays. If both choose b betray, nothing happens. If one chooses an ally and one chooses betray, the one that betrays takes the three. F the the what? Okay. And if Carlos chooses ally and chooses betray, Carlos loses 
3 BP, but Junpei gains 6 because he takes his 3 BP, as well as the 3 I guess he gave in. And if they choose Betray, gain 6, well, he loses 3. When either player's BP reaches 9, the door will unlock. If your BP drops to 0, you will be executed. Method of execution, the bracelet will re a muscle relax into your bloodstream. You will at least... Oh, so they'll die at least a nice, calm, you know, comfy death there. Otherwise, others will share the same fate as you. If Carlos dies, Diana and Sigma will die as well. If Junpei dies, Akane and Phi will die. Make your choice carefully. Oh. Uh. Okay, so I kind of get this. So if one of them, so they held the fate of pretty much the rest of the team. That's kind of crazy. Share the same fate. So they. Kane and Phi die too. And Diana and Sigma are killed if I die. This got some seriousness in it. How far is Zero going to go with his toying with us? Well, he's an old man. Okay, Kane? Or betray. Hmm. Well, we just need someone to reach nine. Well, what'll it be, Carlos? What do you say? Isn't it obvious? We choose ally twice. We'll add six additional points to our initial three. And we'll both end up with nine BP. No one dies, no one gets hurt. The exit door will open. And C team will be able to get out. No, I don't think you get multiple yeah, turns. I get it. There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? Zero's aiming for us to kill ourselves off here. All right. Hey, um, before we do this, do you mind if we check on Akane? Aww. <sighs> His thoughts always go to her, that's for sure. This girl here, she's always been really smart. If she thinks the tiniest thing is off, She'll start debating with buts and ifs, like like someone at least twice her age. But to all of us, back in grade school, she was pretty strange. Well, I, I guess she came across as scary. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just, well, not many people wanted to be friends. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone, I decided that I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her, if I could. Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She didn't take it well. So, without telling me or the teachers, she went to their hutch crying and, and apologizing over and over to them. <laughs> that was over ten years ago. Uh, a memory that's been tucked away in my brain, covered in dust. <laughs> when I saw her again last year, I was, I was reminded of that time. I just can't not keep an eye on her. Aww. I, I know. She always goes and just quietly shoulders everything herself. That's why I want to protect her. I wanted to help her bear whatever weight she's taken up. I truly felt that. But, well, I don't know. It was like, it was like I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. Hell, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I even cared. I wanted to find out more about who she really was. To go and and see her. Come on, you, you have someone you really care about, don't you? You mean my sister? Yeah. My parents died in a fire. And then Maria fell ill to an incurable disease. Above anything else, I want to save her. Oh man. I smile like before. That's what I decided. Uh, look at that spotlight, That's... though. <laughs> ah, now I get it. 
That's why you need the $500,000. Uh, mm. It's clear we both have someone we want to protect. And neither of us can afford to die now. Right. So let's get out of this room by both picking ally. We'll work on getting out of this shelter after that. I don't think it works that way. I don't think okay. you get two turns. I think it's let's one. Over with. Yeah. Back to the room for us. I don't know. If they if the game gives you two turns, then that kind of makes us like us not as scary. Don't get the timing wrong, okay? We have to enter them at the same time to I know. All right. Here we go. Well, let's trust in his Three, game plan. Two, one. I love how you decide then. Ally or betray? Well, I'm gonna hit ally just because I want to trust, you know, his plan. And we'll see what happens. All votes have been received. Hmm. Wow. Wow, Junpei. What the? Wow. <laughs> holy shit. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. <clears throat> There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? You said that. But you forgot, Carlos. There actually was something. What? That is so what are you fucked up. Three and Q team currently dead. With three more, the X door will be able to be opened. Sure. The same fate. That's right. If you die, Diana and Sigma will die as well. No. You do anything for Akane. You don't take it the wrong way. I didn't choose Betray so I could escape. I know you do anything for the little sister you love. So that's why I figured you'd choose to push Betray yourself. So, essentially it was a defensive move. I, I only wanted to protect Akane and Fai. The things Junpei has to do. Assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means you should never trust strangers so easily. That is a brutal way to go when you think about it. I mean, I don't think Carlos will feel a damn thing, but... God damn. Okay. So what happens if they both betray then? Yeah, it's a game over. But what happens if they both betray? Does it just zero negation and they have to go again? I think that it's... Oh, man. Yeah, we have to go back into this flow and... Locked, and then that one. So one of these is locked? Hmm. Well, let's go into here, and let's do this again, and we're going to choose the Betray option. Alrighty guys, so we saw what happened when Carlos got murdered, so let's double Betray, and maybe Junpei either does it or doesn't do it. I think Junpei doesn't, he says a lie, and it's like, why'd you do it, Carlos, why? <laughs> I could genuinely see that being the other option that happens. Oh god, what happened? Betray? Yeah, it's exactly, it's the flip. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Can there not be one where they, you know, no. both live? Why? You piece of shit! You tricked me! No, no, I didn't, I swear! It was because the last time we voted you chose Betray, so I- The hell are you going on about? 
We've only done this once. Oh shit, Carlos is going back in time. <laughs> You okay, Junpei? Wake up! What the hell, asshole? This is all your. I. You're the one who killed me first. What? He's shifting. What's going on? How do I even know about it last time? Junpei's right. This should have been the first time. So why do I think there was another one? Yeah, he shifted. He remembered the last time when he died. Saying, Assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means you should never trust strangers so easily. This is this is like ah, uh, when I'm in a fire. Maybe I. Does this mean I've? Somehow been avoiding the paths leading to death. Potentially, but. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, oh God! How dare you! How dare you kill Junbei? Akami! Oh my God, Akami! Holy fucking shit! I think the shock actually destroyed her clock. That's why she couldn't get hit by the... Holy shit. Oh, nope, she just got it. Jesus, that's just as bad. Okay, so then is it potentially possible to get the other ending where they don't do that and they both live a happy, you know, situation? Because I'm not sure how that works. Um, the AB game. Wait, what? Why is this an unlockable thing again? What's going on? Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just... Well, not many people wanted to be friends. Oh my god, he remembers all of them now. He remembers both outcomes. Uh, where? You okay? Is... Is this before the A-B game? What? What shift okay. is he here for? Uh, should I keep going? Y yeah. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Now, is this oh, the Carlos from then one day, the non-door? The one who ran back? Stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch, crying, and apologizing over and over to them. How, how, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Then, why? So, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine. I uh, guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No, wait! Has he seen both? Yes, he has seen both. Okay, so this is actually why it's Something's unlocked. Weird. Hello, pot calling kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Um, uh, Whoa, Junpei? she woke up already? Carlos. Oh, 
wait. So she woke up that quickly this time? Ah, I think I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Yeah, so shift applies shift. here. Space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Rakane, is... is that...? The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying me here right now came from a different history? Well, two to be exact, well, your but... consciousness, at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met, using a car as a time machine. <laughs> know what movie I'm talking about? Back to the Future, baby. Uh, yeah, of course I do. Best thing the ever. High school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yes, the story revolves around a boy. Well, <laughs> now. According to the plot, he's successful at getting his parents to marry, but history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh. I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. But, did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Huh. Well, now that you mention it. Huh. I, I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. Meaning... If someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. Hmm. The other type is where multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation. One of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decision. Butterfly effect of sorts. It's a right? setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Hmm. Okay, so back to the movie. First, let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder. He killed himself, theoretically. Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house, let's call him M2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories... Every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh. But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. But not the memories. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But the only memories that M retained... Uh, are those of when he was poor. Not when he was rich. So, in huh. effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten, all because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2 the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to. What, do you think they switched? Where he went. This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. 
He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. That's depressing. What is? Uh, M2's situation. No, he just did what he thought was right. He ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of which scenario happens. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. Oh yeah, he what? went back and got the bum end of the deal Your twice. This could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally died twice. <laughs> no. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. Hmm. I kind of like the phenomenon wait, wait, of shifting. Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. If when he was firefighting. I just sort of knew too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. Reverie syndrome. Do you remember this? A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. What? So you're saying that she's she could shift too, and now she's just stuck in shift. Slightly different. In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. But then what could you possibly do to fix that? What, get her out of that? Can be found to control the ability. Oh, okay. She could recover from it. Is that true? I see. I wonder if Akane That's could good. figure it out. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. Carlos, I'm here. I'm over here. Maria, Maria, is that you? Just stay there. I'm coming to get you. Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. So he That's must have shifted. Yeah. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires. And which way would lead to my death? Oh, this this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? Why would you shift now? There's really no reason to play the AB game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. Huh. It'll work. The three of us will definitely be able to do it. But only if we find our lives in danger. Wait, what do you mean by danger? She's inciting that you intentionally vote wrong. To kill everybody and shift. Oh, or open that. Hey, 
Uh, hey, uh, uh, Kane? Hmm? You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? <laughs> I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. But this, this is absolutely nuts. Even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up... Do you plan on dying here then? Go, Akane. Right. I forgot you were like that. <laughs> <laughs> At least you figured it out, man. Please evacuate now. Please evacuate now. So, where do we need to jump to? Um... Well... You... you didn't consider that part? Well, no. we knew in advance, the effect of the threat would be lessened. You're not affected by any of this at all, are you? She's calculative, like man. <laughs> Here, look. My heart's pounding so fast. Do you want to check it? Uh, God. <laughs> uh, hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. Well, they're trying to figure out where they're shifting to. We're just gonna have to go for it. Jump to the same history I am. The same history? Which one? Think. There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Wait, Are you insane? what? We're just gonna get ourselves killed. It's okay. I have a plan. 30 seconds. Wait, right. what? So we're going to the the I reality jump. Ah, damn it. Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go. So those locks can only be unlocked through shifting phenomenon going off. Okay. That's actually relatively kinda cool, if that's the case. Yeah, they can I guess they can only jump in the timeline they're in. Maybe? Because they just shifted, so they shift directly over to that. Yeah. And then maybe they can shift to the one where they're not dead, and then go from there? Because that's technically it. The Anthropic Principle's locked. For some odd reason or another. That's the Circle of Fate. We can't access. So, yeah, those are all, like, I think, shiftables. I think you have to, like, shift to each successful thing. Hmm. Yeah, all we have access to is that frame. Oh, there's a lot of shifting for me. Alrighty. I think I'm going to call it here. And uh, we'll keep going through the shifting and figure out what's going on here in the next episode. As well as I'm probably going to do the boxes and force quit. And hopefully I have the passwords finally. I don't know for sure. I'm not positive. But I'm going to call it here because that puzzle took a lot out of me. And if I keep going any further, I'm going to go nuts with too much stuff going on. So anyway, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. It's your boy Tofu. Signing out.